Okay, for 12A, we have another one of these inverse uh, trig ones. Uh, we wanna know if these will cancel out and you'll just get the number itself on the inside. We have to look at those different rules. Now the rule that says that inverse sine of sine of x is an equal x if x is in the interval from negative pi over two to pi over two. So we have to think about if whether three pi over four falls in there. Now in this case, three pi over four would not be inside the interval because three pi over four, that's three quarters is definitely bigger than uh, one half. So we know that's not, it's gonna fall outside there. So because it doesn't fall inside there, then we have to go about this uh, a little bit differently and we have to talk about using what's referred to as uh, reference angles. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, we wanna find the reference angle for three pi over four. Now if you make a little sketch over here, we find out that three pi over four uh, is gonna be over here. This is between pi over two and pi. And so this angle here would be uh, three pi over four, which is what we have here. We wanna find the reference angle so we want to find an equivalent angle in the first quadrant that has the same value as uh, sine three pi over four. So the RA, the reference angle, is gonna be, because it's in the second quadrant, the formula for it is pi minus the angle. So we're gonna do pi minus three pi over four if we keep it all in terms of radians. And that gives us pi over four, okay? So I know that the, the Y value, if I draw the equivalent uh, line down here, the, the y value at this point is going to have the same y value at that point because it's across the same thing. So if I have the line drawn like that, the y values would be exactly the same. So I can say that sine of, th of 3 pi over 4 is actually going to have the same exact value as sine pi over 4. These are both equivalent. So then we can say that Instead of three pi over four, we can do inverse sine of sine of pi over four instead. And the way this rule works is now we know that the, the value here pi over four, that would be in between negative pi over two and pi over two. And then we would know those would cancel out and you would get pi over four as the answer. Okay, so in this case, the answer for this problem is actually going to be this. It's going to be pi over 4. So again, just to kind of review all that, 3 pi over 4 we know it's not equal to because 3 pi over 4 is not in this interval. When that occurs, you do the reference angle and try and find an equivalent trig function to have the same value as that. Sine refers to a y value on a unit circle and so what we do is we reference angle will be pi minus 3 pi over 4 and that's pi over 4 which should be this angle right here. So this angle is gonna have the same y value as sine of three pi over four, which means that because these y values are the same, we can say that sine three pi over four is the same as sine pi over four. And if we put that into our expression here, we take out the sine three pi over four, replace it with sine of pi over four, then we know that, that those inverses are gonna cancel out and we'll get pi over four as the answer because pi over four is between negative pi over two and pi over two. You only have to do this process if the number inside here does not fall in that particular interval. This is the only time you have to go through and do this process.